Okay guys, uh, first, uh, I wanted to explain the ideas behind the massing. So, uh, sige. All the ideas that were expressed on the model, let us know. So to begin with, this is our uh, form for this week. And for our big concept, uh, it revolves around uh, the Filipino weaving, which is binacol weaving, that is originated from uh, northern Luzon, more specifically in Abra and uh, Ilocos. Ilocos. So a more in-depth look of the pattern. So the first study that we got was the eyes of the skin by Architecture and the Senses by Johanny Palasma. So it could offer insights into how visual patterns, including illusions, impact the overall sensory experience within an architectural spaces. So as you can see in our uh, form, we kind of applied some illusions to it, to have this uh, kind of uh, architectural senses. And this would really affect users, specifically for students. So to answer to the issues of brutalism, first is the coldness. So in terms of coldness, how we understand it is how it's inhospitable and does not relate to the buildings beside it. So we want to combat this by creating a relationship. So of course, the relationship that we want to create is the Becky's Kitchen. So for the Becky's Kitchen, um, our literature that we studied here is the spatial agglomeration, wherein the concept is creating, uh, putting together the cluster of uses of space creates a connection with the users. So Becky's Kitchen is a bakery, food. So we decided in this area is to put the cafeteria and eating grounds. So you would see here, we put an open space that overlooks the Becky's Kitchen. And in this area, we plan to put eating spaces. So while doing the activity, we can connect it with the said space, such as the Becky's Kitchen. And then for the hi-fi. And for the hi-fi, and for the hi-fi, uh, hi-fi is a structure that is related to videos. Uh, and we want this to be related to students from our uh, structure. So basically we had several open spaces as well in this site wherein people could, or students could uh, hang out and do their uh, school breaks for example. So as you can see there are a lot of openings and we kind of relate this to the sand carving, sand carving that we created, created in our previous uh, weeks. So yeah. Okay, so aside from what Charles have said, or another literature is how levels of visibility affect adult learning and sharing. So as you would see, we push and pull the different rooms that we have. This creates a distinction of the spaces, uh, letting the users know in the hi-fi building of even the users from the outside of the distinct spaces in the building. Uh, again, this relates to how levels of visibility affect adult learning and sharing. So we want to create a visible space for the users to know what uh, what our proposed project entails. Next slide, please. So next is authoritativeness. So for the authoritativeness, uh, this we relate this with being stiff and rigid. So with this, we, connect, we connected this with our big concept, the binocle pattern. So binocle pattern have an illusion, if you have seen earlier, of being uh, creating curves through geometric uh, shapes. So that's, what, that's how we want to soften our building with, is through illusions. We believe that through illusions, we're not, uh, we're trying still to be brutalism, while creating a softness and not steering really away from what brutalism is. So in this area, we created an illusion. Uh, we created an illusion where this side is taper uh, further and further away. 
And aside from that, we also uh, sporadically place textures. If looking from the side, you would see the curved illusion of this area. And then for liter uh, literature, we have how architecture shapes our emotions and well-being. So this shows how uh, curvilinears uh, create a welcoming feeling combating authoritativeness where we feel unwelcome with brutalist architecture since it's very uh, monolithic in a way and, sim and it seems that um, it's unwelcoming. So for darkness, uh, we relate darkness with being emo, feeling one type of in, a heightened emotion. So with this, uh, we use the study on bipolar, bipolarity in the architecture of Leandro V. Luxine. So in this area, we frame the walkway and create using different heights, uh, ceiling heights to open up the space and creating views for the users to see each other at some sort of point and with this uh, it gives an emotion of open up as opening opening up a space through different dimensions and that's it for the overall use aren't you going to explain the rear side um further rear side since this is where the part of uh, where it's shaded from the sun. So we put a lot of balconies in this area and to create a more opening since um, this is the back side of the building. Um, so basically we're uh, using the data from our sun carving. Yes. So this side is covered obviously by the sun. So this won't be heated by the sun. <laughs> by the and sun that much. Hence, um, aside from still putting a distinction and visibility through the different spaces, and we, where we plan to put staircases here going up to the mezzanine to view the other spaces, um, we also um, we also try to use uh, balconies and open space here in the side to really create um, a pleasant space or a pleasant experience for the users. Well, especially for the students. Since one of our wish lists for our structure is to have a space for students to decompress when feeling stressed. So, yeah. So, yeah. I think you turn it off. Okay. Okay. See. Are the open spaces intentional? Uh, These areas. Yes, yes boss. Sir. So what will happen there? Can you uh, uh, we tour us? We plan to put common grounds in that area as well as since uh, you would see that our ceiling height is quite high since we're planning to put a mezzanine and utilizing staircases for the users and uh, being a part of their daily lives when they're using the project itself. So uh, like in this area, we put uh, stairs going to the cafeteria. We also plan of using staircase going up to the mezzanine and having it overlooked. But aside from that, we want to give opportunity to the students to hang out and create spaces for themselves uh, in each floor. Because uh, as an overall massing, I think it looks good, except that you have to be very conscious of the elements that you will add on later on. For example, the stairs here are very, are very dominant, no? So the moment you have stairs here, this expression of the void will be a bit less. So it depends on the material that you are using. But if it's going to be concrete as well, this language, this is a very pure rectilinear void, will not be the same. It will not be as pure. 
you will have some sort of a diagonal because of the staircase all right okay. but if you use a different material uh let's say this is all concrete because it's brutalist yes, sir. and let's say you use metal for for that then maybe it is another material language for the building that way it won't be read as part of the overall massing okay when you were here earlier actually without without these textures yet because i would imagine that this will be concrete right yes. i was actually appreciating the form right away because i can see the 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 clearness the clarity of the idea i i can see the brutalist quality of it and uh, i love the play of the push and pull and i could imagine you know this is teeming with life with students on different levels because the enclosed areas are well defined but having said that are these boxes going to be enclosed um, not, all of not totally enclosed the enclosed summons. okay i want you to imagine it uh, down the road how you're going to design the fenestration because it will definitely affect the way it's going to be perceived right now it looks very brutalist because you don't see any windows the moment you introduce other elements uh it will be very different in fact i was liking it more but i'm not saying that you stop you, you stopped using this uh, because it has its own beautiful idea it's just that for me i like it without the windows etc but we cannot use this building without the windows because it's still uh, a building that needs to be used by students you know what i mean so it's not like a museum that you have dark spaces inside you control the environment inside etc it there needs to be some natural light and some form of access visually to the outside so uh it's very important to to know what will happen here no so it's something that uh, I want you guys to think about. Although next week, I'll just be requiring floor plans and uh, s drawing two-dimensional drawings. Uh, but I want you guys to think of this no, right, in digital format. Because so, you will really lose that purity. Right now, it's very pure, especially without this, uh, with this uh, folding thing. Um, and even though it's very authoritative, that's one of the things that I'm going to ask you because you see how humongous this building is as compared to uh, Hi-Fi and especially uh, Baker's Kitchen. If there's something that you can do that sort of really expresses the response to this building, not just a big building like that, maybe another gesture uh, that, that probably is another push and pull uh, that reacts to this old building, maybe better, um, even though you have this humongous massing just to address this particular side. Um, I think the fact that it is very porous, it makes it softer. Um, but you need to view it from afar. You need to be a giant to appreciate this building. Uh, just, you know, if you're this small, it's a different, it's a different scenario, no? So it's gonna be a really massive thing. But again, if you imagine people around it, like it's teeming with life, it softens it a bit, no? Uh, maybe when you when you uh, introduce windows, maybe these things are still broken apart. And then uh, uh, and then can we look at the binacol pattern again? Like that. So if you, if I'm seeing this pattern, if there's a way for you to let's say one volume creates that pattern with the push and pull uh, as a massing, then some of it will be window, some of it will be just block elements, blockish elements, I think that will be great. Okay, because I, I, although I understand the idea behind the curvilinear thing uh, of this, but you know, when I think you already have this very strong pattern to reference and to echo uh, so that it's more faithful to the concept than to iterate more and then all of a sudden, we don't see the connection of this one and that one. Okay. Do you get it? Yes. So uh, try to imagine this, this negative and positive spaces are the windows in itself already. So that we create that illusion. 
right so uh it's up to you it's beautiful but you know uh it's always about the story and uh how convincing the story is so right now i i got lost when i saw this when i'm attached to the pattern that you presented before all right yes. so uh do you have anything to say no no man okay uh i guess i like the i like the exuberance of this uh, this side also the exuberance of this side uh like there's a pattern that's happening yes. right? so uh it's actually really interesting it almost reminds me of arturo luz arturo luz captures i don't know if you're familiar with it uh, i think it's used in the PICC, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure. Just a research, uh, But the, the forms is reminiscent of that, and it alludes to that era when Luxin was popular. So uh, I like that uh, repetition. So uh, an incorporation of that pattern and those massing will be great, and uh, and try to consider the small elements that you will have in between, and if you notice. I'm allowing you guys to have this massing because it's the only scheme that explores vertical circulation, like the life in a very vertical manner, because most of the designs that we're seeing around is very horizontally planned. And I want you guys to, to work on the issues of the vertical uh, movement, because I would imagine that this group of massing will be for a certain program and then uh, this another massing will be another program, etc. So uh, the elevators stop at certain levels, uh, and that creates different stories for each level. And uh, if I'm going to be nitpicking, probably I these are all consistent. No, these are all consistent, coherent language. Then all of a sudden, since you are required to have a roof, you just have a very massive block on top i would you know it, it would be more impressive if uh, we see this exuberance happening at the top so maybe you have all those boxes happening you know push and pulling etc with plants etc with parks rooftop parks etc that way it will really look like a sculpture so from all sides it's looking interesting maybe this this area you have the push and pull somehow uh, it's interesting enough. This one more so. This is the facade and also the other side. Very interesting. Uh, and then all of a sudden, it becomes flat at the top most part. OK, do you have any questions? All right, so yeah. OK, thank you. OK, Joshua, you can uh, yeah. start. So we are, we call ourselves Josh Studio. Since I'm Joshua Hermosa and my partner is Joshua Rania. <laughs> and this is our scheme for week 10 of Arc the 7 for fresh roots. So I'll pass on now to Joshua Rania for the, our big idea. So our big idea came from just basically studying the properties of concrete and how we found it interesting how this really solid and strong material is actually very porous when looked at up close and from that porosity comes the water and uh, how it degrades and how it kind of evolves over time and how stuff grows on it and how that kind of relates to what we're trying to do which is basically open up this brutal building and have students grow in it from getting watered over time so <clears throat> so, our first idea was basically introducing pores into the building. Uh, we, we used the golden ratio to create proportions between different sizes and having this language all throughout the building and apply it to different parts, not, not only the exterior but also the interior. So, offices, uh, workshops, uh, classrooms, and even the canteen can have this whole language that would inform or kind of 
go throughout the building. And then this kind of also plays with the transparency of how people see each other, how light passes through. And overall, this is how we are uh, so, uh, kind of creating a solution towards brutalism through, with the coldness, with the darkness, and the authoritativeness by basically highlighting the people, highlighting the light, highlighting the transparency between spaces. And then one of our uh, ideas was using this transparency and creating uh, views where it is private yet open at the same time. So in the first view, you can see that it's very open. You can see the pores all throughout the hallway. But if you go through that same hallway in the opposite direction, it'll be very private and closed. And then evolving from that idea of creating pores, we wanted to uh, highlight Becky's kitchen and kind of create that dialogue with the building. So we took uh, a motif, which is the canopy from Becky's kitchen, which is found on its windows. And we kind of uh, iterated it, abstracted it, and created a, a main module where a canopy can be placed, and then it can be interchanged with a seating bed. To act as planters. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the model, you can see the brick, but not the canopies yet, or the planters. You're referring to this, no? Yes, sir. Okay. Also, um, how we want to implement this, uh, how we want to implement this type of facade is there will be some sort of glass or a court curtain wall behind it so it won't get too difficult to maintain when, it, when it's during rainy seasons. Mm -hmm. And it'll also just basically be a way to have air conditioning even though uh, is using uh, transparency between levels and kind of playing with the idea of a waffle slab. Mm. And using that porous idea again and using that proportion to kind of create this language all throughout the building. So that waffle slab will happen on the underside? Like here? Mm -hmm. okay. we're, still, we're still thinking of it as of now since we want to make the facades or motifs cohesive. Since parang from the last week, naisip namin if ilalagay namin siya somewhere here para okay. cover for the driveway right. medyo uh, siyang OP or alien so we're still thinking of how we want to execute this like what do you mean OP and alien? out of place? yeah out of place in what Maybe, way? ito pong facade kasi pur since puro ganito ang pattern ah, right. then and then maybe for the interior magagamit namin siya will there be a problem if we use that this a pattern as a slab under oh, uh, underneath well, yes, sir. so it's more if your concern is about consistency mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I think your suggestion of using a different pattern the waffle slab for the interior if it happens all throughout then you still have consistency just basically using two patterns mm -hmm. if ever one elongated and one circular yeah so you have those two options if you really want to be super consistent uh, you can use the same longer oblongs on the other side and if you want to induce another language for as long as this happens all throughout not just on one area then i think that becomes more cohesive in a way because you have a critical mass for it so uh but if it only happens on one area then it becomes a question of consistency right see okay, go ahead and then next slide so some parties from, this is our last week's form, but basically it still reflects the big idea in this form. So how we can have three concepts of porosity, physical porosity, in which uh, the actual force on the surface uh, acts as an element for fluidity, not only for air and sun. Why don't you show, show it in the model? Like, for example, uh, 
uh, physical porosity, right, in which the actual pores on the surface acts as an element for fluidity, not only for air and wind, but also for visuals. So, uh, people outside and from inside uh, can get curious, like what's happening. So, is this a is this a outside. get wet experience? So when you say get wet, you know Greenbelt Mall, mm. you know it's a, yeah. yeah. Okay, but how about during typhoon? Because in Greenbelt, when there's typhoon, there's still some sort of uh, sheltered areas. Mm. Uh, in this area, do you provide that same comfort, sense of comfort? I think it's okay. Personally, I think that's okay to have a get wet experience. But I think just like Greenbelt, provide a sense of comfort, space for comfort. Like there's a refuge just in case there's strong winds. Like, uh, definitely they cannot use the staircase, no? It might be off limits, it can be slippery. Mm -hmm. But definitely you need to provide an alternative that is uh, that is more safe, mm -hmm. comfortable. Uh, yes, sir. What else? That. Uh, siguro rin to tackle yung issue on strong typhoons wind or rain, maybe we can have a system of ano, pagiging operable ng facades. Yeah, I was thinking about the same thing. Because you don't really lose the language. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, what material are you thinking of? Maybe you can study it. Will it be opaque? Will it be transparent? Something that you, can, you guys can think about. It can be a combination of both. So something that uh, you can explore uh, within the week. Uh, my question right now is uh, this facade uh, is this going to be like a patch on the wall uh, we plan the openings po. Okay. not really modeled well lang pero there will be glass behind it so this will be just a plain wall yes po. okay or concrete wall all right so I understand the understanding of brutalism is very massive uh, very fluid etc but be careful about the applications because We've seen modern buildings now that use perforated panels. With the, with the thinness of this or the thickness of this, it might be read as such. Then we lose that sense of concrete already. Uh, are you familiar with perforated panels? Yes, sir. Yes, Those metal screens mm. that has patterns, etc. If this is at a certain thickness that it might not read as concrete anymore, then you know we lose the objective of the exercise so uh that's why i was very wary for you uh when you were when i was asking about is it going to be just a patch of pattern on the wall mm -hmm. because it feels like it's just something that you you know splatter on the wall to create that sort of interest but has no purpose at all mm -hmm. do you get it so what will happen at the topmost area topmost floor um a disclaimer lang, this model is only until the 12th floor. Mm -hmm. So here, yung big All right. block na to. Yeah. Since we didn't have much time to finish it. All right, right, So right. this is only in the 12th floor. On our plan for this week, we, it will reach up to 19th floor. Okay. Uh, if to if reach. I'm going to uh, critique this, uh, is this part going to be this consistent uh, this uh, this language and then all of a sudden you have a very different uh 75 percent of the building uh no sir because we're planning on applying the same facade on the uh voids as well yeah so it'll also kind of act as a protection to the sun especially since this is facing south oh, okay all right also all right. in the planning process it's like this we have a podium level for general areas Libraries, faculties, yeah, and such, and, and on the upper parts, it will be or more on academic spaces. I find this really interesting, no? This one, no? So, uh, what's happening here? Uh, that's actually connected. cafeteria. Uh, on the lower level, it's actually the faculty. 
And then on the next level, it's the cafeteria. And th this space, it, this space, this narrow space. What's oh, that? Uh, this narrow space is more of an outside space for right. the faculty to enjoy. All right, that, that's good. Um, the students can access it also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, will you have a railing? Uh, yes, of course, both. Uh, also, to mention, Rin, our cafeteria on the fifth floor matches the. Also, to mention, Rin, uh, our cafeteria placed on the fifth floor matches the same height on hi-fi on their third level ah, yeah, it will match nice. hopefully there yeah. you can have a bridge no? yeah so and last uh, week we plan to have a slope but we think it will be better or more easier for the structural it. yeah just to straighten it uh yeah if you can have a connection to the hi-fi it will be great uh just to continue my concern about the railing mm. uh what's the material of the railing uh, so we're still kind of experimenting on it. First, we tried to actually uh, push up the facade and see what that would look like. Me or what would glass look like? Would it kind of uh, yeah okay stay with the transparency or like basically how things would read? All right. Yeah, it's good. Did you mention that you're exploring it? I'm happy. That's all I want. No, that you are exploring different options. Okay, um, what else? Uh, yeah, just uh, um, maybe just like my comments for the other group. Uh, you, you know, hi fi, very interesting in all sides, even mm -hmm. the sides, even the rooftop, it's all consistent. I want you guys to do the same. Mm -hmm. uh, I think many designers neglect what happens at the rooftop. I know it's you know, that's where you place the water tanks, uh, the elevator rooms, etc. Uh, you know, how, how do you utilize it? There's a trend now that. Uh, Rooftops are turning, they're trying to turn it into green uh, public spaces, etc. So how do we uh, catch on to that trend? Uh, so that it's not just an isolated thing. Especially, you, you have that opportunity and program uh, to encourage the users to think of what they can do about the roofscapes of the city. And mm -hmm. because when I'm looking at this, it doesn't feel like you know there has any there's an idea behind it, except that probably you're just echoing hi-fi. Mm -hmm. So we're not just talking about uh, profile form, etc., but but the general idea, the uh, the the purpose of it as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's definitely something we should consider, sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, just to add, uh, before we had an atrium in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then we kind of yeah. Uh, actually, right now it lo it's looking good. Uh, if you're referring to the old scheme, which is that one, that one. The I, middle atrium. Then now we expressed it outside. It's more broken up on a horizontal level. Um, I think what it works better now because if you maintain the ho the the middle, the center, uh, um, void. It enhances the verticality. It makes it more vertical. Right now, you soften the 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 vertical the vertical aspect of it because you your eyes are drawn to the activities on the horizontal manner. When uh, when I'm looking at this, this is a void, and you see you will see people, activities, etc. Uh, that makes it more a uh, soft than a you know a big mass with just you know a very boring center void which is happening in other buildings. Okay, uh, what else? But keep in mind, you will have columns. Uh, mm -hmm. um, okay, so you will have those... Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's the same from the last week's uh, proposal. All right. Anything else? Uh, nothing. No, no, no. Uh, okay. Basically, we just have two types of floor plans. You can show it here. Uh, a regular floor with drafting rooms and another mm -hmm. floor with uh, either a lecture room or a computer lab. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then it just keeps on repeating. Yeah. Yeah. And this yeah. floors. Yeah. Looks good. And then um, it has a very practical layout of the floor plan. And then you have this transition area between the outside and the inside. Uh, I would, I can imagine, you know, the students hanging out here, uh, waiting for their class, and um, just like what's happening in SDA, you know, you, you replicate that kind of lifestyle for the students. 
Uh, you, will you have windows here as well on the side? Uh, basically, our core is like a L shape here right. for the uh, elevator, yeah, yeah. then bathrooms in this part. It almost goes all throughout the all, all of the floors. So we decided to push this part of our uh, site uh, uh, to maximize it and to make it a firewall since it's on it's, it's a yes. core naman okay yeah, and we can have a uh, fire resistant uh, glass box on those firewalls okay well if we are going to push for a better design one of my uh, one of the things that I actually notice when it comes to building are the firewalls because I understand there's a property beside it so there's really no point of putting windows, etc. But we have a setback. If there's something you can do about the flatness of one side, I don't know if you notice it with buildings, that you have this a very interesting facade, and then on the far wall side, just basically a wall, which is understandable. Um, but since we have a setback, what else can you do? Uh, but you mentioned earlier that you will have, you explored gla um, fire resistant. Yeah, yeah fire resistant, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, just explore how you can make this interesting uh, and not treat it like just a back of the house uh, situation. Same thing with this one, no? Uh, Noted. Yeah. Yes. For this part, you, naman po, fire exit. Naman siya. Okay. Core, fire exit core. Yeah, because if you notice the other group, all the sides are very expressive. Mm -hmm. Even the, 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 the toilet and the, the stair exits. Noted. Po. Okay, so that you know you don't just be conscious of what is seen, but you're also see, seeing the entire building from all sides. All right, so it's a uh, basically it's not just a facade design, but also you know all all the all the sides. Okay, hindi lang siya harap harapgenic. All right. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you both. We'll showcase what our true facade, our facades are, but um, we try to um, showcase it in a way that our um, capiz-like panels in our facades are um, equal in size, so they are in a way still modular panels that we could. Um, distribute in the different spaces in our building. So that is why we have these um, mostly in our front facade, we have the different modular It's working, the month. Yeah. We have the different um, placements of our panels. So this is what it should look like for SANA. Uh, Marami po siyang buta, so perforated walls po siya. And uh, we made it thicker po because last week uh, it was very thin na uh, parang hindi kaya na concrete yung material kapag ganun kanipi. So we made it thicker so that uh, pwede namin magamit yung concrete as the primary material of it po. Okay, I guess we don't need to recapitulate <laughs> or review the old presentation. We already know that. Is this a, the new one? Is it a new one? Say, go ahead. So, uh, there's a. Ano po in Italy that no pandemic po, they created this uh, system. The safe distance grid, which is about uh, 1.8 meters, uh, on their plaza, they painted uh, small squares. Uh, so, how are you planning to use this idea? Uh, we want to use it around po sa floors din sana to create some okay. uh, spaces. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. Distance. See, what else? Also serve. It could also serve as a grid system in our 
elevation or sections of the building. Okay, maybe my clarification is how faithful are the arrangements of the panels to the 3D or the actual elevation that you have? Um, di po complete yung panels. Pero this is the intended arrangement. Okay, this is not just random or conceptual. Just this is the attempt. Yes, sir. It, yes, sir. it okay. was based on the um, rooms per floor then po, which actually requires... Um, so these are not guesses, no? Yes, sir. Okay, that's good. Because I was worried a bit because I thought it was being rushed and I thought it was just a random pattern, etc. It defeats... The reason why I'm worried, I was worried because it defeats the purpose of physical modeling and seeing it on the model. When you guys weren't here, I saw the model of the first group, Nashon and Jenkins, and I was telling them how clear what the model is like in relation to the surrounding buildings. So whether or not it's going to be very authoritative or oppressive, it's 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 uh, it is going to be argued. Uh, but at the same time, we can already relate the actual proportions and the scale. When we're looking at this, if I would assume this is about two to three three meters or four? Four, four meters, yeah. If it's four meters, of course, we're, st we're still going to detail it. When you have the final model, the actual thickness will be reflected. But somehow you are saying that the entire floor will have the size of a panel, right? And then this panel will have the grid, yes. the capis pattern, right? So, and how about the negative spaces? What will happen? Uh, as I've mentioned po earlier that there will be voids po around the yeah. building because yung first attempt po namin na eight floors medyo cramped po. Right, right, right. Yeah. Kaya po nag-add po kami ng additional floors to somehow uh, parang makahinga yung building. Okay. So what will happen is there will be railings here and then you will see people, no? It will be teeming with life. So that's actually interesting. So the 3D that you showed, is that updated? No. Yes, sir. Yung... Okay. So that basically, that's how we are imagining it, no? Yes, so it has more voids now uh, for hangout areas, for collaborative areas, etc. right? Yes, yes. So that is good. What I'm not happy about is this wall, yes. like a fire exit. What are, you, what are your plans to rectify the situation? Because if, you know, of course, if I'm a if I'm an ordinary Filipino and uh, live in this neighborhood, maybe I won't mind. But what if I'm a designer and then I'm just you know facing this humongous wall? Do you get it? So uh, or any person for that matter, you just basically enclose them with a wall. And uh, I don't know where the sun sun is. Uh, I'm sure this guy will be blocked at certain time of the day so uh i read the least you can do is you know to create it more make it more interesting uh make it more livelier etc uh of course there'll be an issue of privacy for this guy but uh compared to a, a wall this big i think that's more friendlier when you can see your neighbor okay so uh, just make it consistent all throughout i think uh and then i think my I remember my comment on the floor plan. If you can create a system on the floor, the patterns that you were talking about, and you can create a system on the facade, uh, keeping in mind the randomness of the openness, openings, the voids, and the covered areas, if that is a system in itself, how can you apply it on the floor plan? So next week we will be doing floor plans only, uh, mostly if it's not applicable to you, so I want you guys to fix that floor plan so that everything is consistent. The flooring is on Cartesian grid, uh, the facade is Cartesian grid. If you can do that with your floor plan, that way there's more integrity in the concept. Okay. Do you get it? So it's not just a concept that you know, you're know you just emulating, it's really applied. Yes. All right? So do you have any questions, guys? Um, no, sir, we just like to also show you how we changed na po the slice. All right, where is it? Uh, if you remember, sir, the previous form had a random slice. All right, right. Yeah, it's better now. So it, uh, I am imagining it as a pixel, 
Like these are big, bigger pixels. Yes, sir. Ayun, better. Th that's way better. In fact, when you have the the grids already with the pattern, maybe you can have you know elevated areas for sitting. Um, just like SDA, diba? the ramp area, you have those folding elements rising from the ground. Uh, yes, sir. Like that. So, but in your case, you can have grids, no? Um, but maybe my, my additional comment will be similar uh, with uh, the other group because I think you need to provide hierarchy of areas. If you notice, hi fi has that high ceiling, it's more welcoming, it, it draws you in. Whereas this one is like one of those buildings. Only no so, but I like the connection of this area. I don't know if that's your intention. Yes, sir. But open. Pero pero do sa 3D parang it's enclosed. Eh. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah. so uh, but you know uh, normally lobbies have high ceiling. It's more welcoming. Uh, it enhances the arrival experience. Okay, and that's where most of the people go or or flock when they go home, etc. That's where you meet people, also outsiders. So it's better if it's high ceiling. Thank you, sir. Okay? Sige. Other than that, uh, uh, other ideas that uh, we're missing out on? Ah, these are the... Yeah, that, this is way better. It's more consistent. No? Yes, sir. Right? So it's more well-designed. Yeah. Yeah, better. Yes, sir. Uh, we made the furniture for more other. Uh, uh, yes, sir. To emulate grid. Yes, then, it's it's all about the idea. It's all about the DNA. Okay. okay. All right. Cool. In fact, you can also introduce that on the ceiling for the lighting, etc. Uh, but later on, you can uh, explore that. All right. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. Um, good afternoon, sir. I'm Brian Castro. And we are here to discuss about our progress for the week ten. Uh, okay, next. So let's not go over the concept before unless there's something new with the process or the iteration that I haven't seen. Yeah, you can discuss that. Um, okay, for um, our big idea is Ilambayo, mm -hmm. which is um, uh, Ifugao um, weaving characterized by its diamond shapes and um, stripes patterns. So um, we identified um, and used three of its properties um, to develop our form. Um, the first one is the overlapping warps and wefts, um, which we incorporated by um, um, spatial layering and depths um, to create um, um, visual interest and complexity. Then the next one is the repetitive rhythm, uh, which we showed through um, the repetitive motion of our hallways and stairs as our main circulation. Then next is the breathability and openness, um, which we um, showed through um, openings, but uh, we weren't able to reflect that on the model. So to address the um, coldness and authoritativeness, um, um, we are um, incorporating um, soft angles and um, curves on the edges to um, contrast the um, rigid um, geometry of brutalism. Then for the, um, uh, to address um, darkness, um, we are using two-way mirrors as the interior walls to um, manipulate and distribute light um, through reflection and transmission. To take advantage of the the push and pull of the structure over here, we decided to put vegetation on the on top of it of the mm -hmm. protruding masses, similar to the structure of the rice terraces of Ifogao. This is our way of integrating nature into the built environment, similar to. Uh, Lockheed's approach of cultural preservation of using those traditional structures in order to seek and honor the indigenous cultural practice within a uh, contemporary context. And that's it. For okay, what I'm curious about is are the openings? Because if you if you are uh, listen to my 
previous critique that will totally change how you are perceiving this no right now it looks sculptural but when you introduce windows it will look like an ordinary building so how do you plan to address that because uh, if if you're referring to this uh, 3d it looks an ordinary building and the one way to do it is uh, make a floor to ceiling window so that each volume is read as a layer so it's all about um, blurring the idea of a window and a wall so basically the window in itself is the wall so that way you have that very pure layer do you get it the the the, the challenge with that when it comes to practicality and uh, climatic conditions you know it, it can be very very hot so uh, what can happen is that you can probably provide gaps in between the panels of the window uh, that way it's all consistent all windows are consistent like that but you need to identify the thickness of the slab on top and bottom because you'll still need space for the planters that uh, you are you want to use all right so we can see it's going to be very transparent all throughout but with gaps it cannot be any closed thing because otherwise it will be very very hot i know that you know you guys are very pragmatic now i'm i'm helping you how to make this design more elevated because right now it looks like a housing project no but if you make the the, the glass floor to ceiling but since we cannot enclose it because you're imagining all fixed glass na, uh, they're all side by side like uh, the amphitheater upstairs na it's all glass diba? you will need to provide gaps in between so that the air will pass through all right so just like our hallways outside it's open to the elements and yet when there's rain or even strong rain you're still protected but because there are openings it's the same case with this one another option is that you overlap and alternate uh, the openings but you will have second layer do you get it so if this is uh, if this is the uh, one layer another one on the back and another layer you know what I mean just to make it more porous and permeable so that's how I'm seeing this uh, it's just unfortunate I didn't see the floor plan assuming that the floor plan is correct at least you can work that idea around no uh, it's going to be all glass maybe you can use all colored glass if, if you want no uh, for different levels um, but there needs to be a story uh, an idea behind it okay. all right see you guys. any questions guys all right see you guys. thank you, thank you sir. all right Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, so good afternoon. Uh, so, my name is Angela and this is Jaya. And for this week, we will be presenting our week 10 deliverables. So, uh, bef before I start, I to, so to start with, uh, our big idea is curtain. Now, uh, we went deeper with uh, Filipino curtains. Now, there is uh, uh, Filipino curtains has this reputation where it's it's very Badui. So we went deeper into the idea or concept of the Baduiness of the Filipinos. And uh na uh, Filipinos are the, uh, something is deemed Badui because it's the non-classy thing. It's something that a foreigner wouldn't do. And some of us, or most of us, always want to incorporate ourselves with doing the classy thing. So, so basically, yeah. like Badui, when you say Badui, it's like um going away or like stepping away from mm, western disassociating yes disassociating from western yeah home. so you know filipino curtains um the concept basically parang tingnan naman yung elements na meron mm. sa filipino curtains yung usual which is which are the um the yung Sorry. You have the uh, different varieties. The different patterns. Yeah, different patterns. Different, different colors. And usually yung mga patterns are parang um usually yung patterns are floral, yeah. uh, organic mga sometimes geometrical. Geometrical like basic shapes yung patterns. Yes. So here as you, you can already see the idea dun sa facade. 
So how we solve the issues with brutalism, the darkness, authoritativeness, and coldness. So obviously, the dark, the darkness. Um, we opened up the spaces, uh, the walls, the concrete, the heavy concrete mass by putting holes, patterns here. Yeah. And then for authoritativeness, um, we soften the geometry. So obviously, you can see the flowiness of the entire building, even the interiors. So it's uh, tangalable. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the model looks better than the floor plan. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the interior is there. It's um, flowy sa loob. So, parang, um, ganun namin sa loob yung issue with authoritative guys. And kasi ano, like, yung pag-iing flowy niya, yeah. it creates a sense, sense of openness and lack of threat. Because there was this study where uh, people uh, somewhere in their amygdala, uh, they think that sharp edges uh, is equals to thread. So some people prefer smooth edges. So that's what we're also trying to incorporate in our idea. And the, the form being organic is somehow similar to Luxine when we're relating to Luxine because Luxine has this idea of uh, visual continuity. There's a CCT. Yeah. The long, ano, mostly like this, you never done says that you know it's a CCT because uh, yung ginawa nga dun, kinonect nga yung, di ba yung columns, they are, it's on a curve. Yeah. So, uh, it works structurally and aesthetically. And the idea then there was to connect the three elements, floor, wall, and ceiling, para meron parang continuity talaga dun sa, I'm sorry. So, may continuity dun sa um the visual so ano uh, visual yeah. so ito yung ano application din ay yung pag-apply din namin sa wall and ceiling so nag-apply siya sa buong building hindi lang siya complete na complete but here supposed to di meron din dito what happens what happens here meron din na ano, parang wall din dyan. Okay. Para din mo sa part Curve na ano, yung, yung, yung part right. nito. Ah, okay. And then, hindi rin namin kasi na-add yung columns nila. Yung mga columns nila. Kasi yung... So, ayan. And then... Same thing. And then for the programs, um, how it relates to architecture program and how it how architecture program will benefit from the idea is uh, yung patterns or yung varieties na meron sa, um, meron sa curtains. Gusto din namin siya i-apply sa experience ng student. May world and data. So iba-iba rin yung, ano, yung shape ng rooms. Iba-iba yung experience. And um, we are planning then na iba-iba rin yung use of materials and interiors. It's also uh, part of solving the issue of coldness. Kasi, Iba iba yung parang may, ano, instead of the common monochromatic palette. palette. Iba yung mga material palette. Yeah. We're gonna expand the material palette for brutalism. So parang idea namin is to make the entire architecture school building a material library for the students. So parang ano, um, basing dun sa study na ay sa design philosophy na Waterloo Architecture School na building as its own teacher. Building, building as the teacher to, the, to its students. Parang sa Yale Architecture School din, same din yung sa Rupon building. So, pakita ng programs. So here, starting sa, pito yung ground floor. So, wala akong naman na ng ground floor is exhibit and uh, lobby. lobby. The reason na exhibit and lobby lang yung laman doon kasi usually naman, ano parang dun yung dumadaan yung mga tao. So syempre kapag mo showcase ka ng, ay, ng, ano, ng mga projects ng student, kailangan dun sa area na maraming uh, taong dumadaan. Easily accessible. Ex easily accessible yes. and pinakamaraming ano. Yes. And actually, it's similar to uh, Yale School of Architecture, yes. where Rudolf plays the exhibit uh, all the public somewhere, spaces. all the public spaces somewhere around the ground floor for the people to see the works of the students of mm -hmm. Yale Architecture. So even, that's what we're also trying to. Even the water too, because yeah. Natin. Then second floor offices yun nilagay namin kasi typically naman yung mga offices na sa second floor ng mga schools. Where, where, where is it? 
Yes, yes. Oh, that one. Okay. It's connected to the ground, like Mr. Restaurant. Can it open below? Siguro I'm gonna provide the feedback as we are looking at the level. I. Okay, so I just noticed that the ground floor is just one ceiling height. It feels like there's no hierarchy in terms of arrival. Uh, when you are entering the building, it feels like you're just entering like a typical room. Like for instance, you are here. Um, this is your ground floor already. And if you notice, we enter through a lobby high ceiling, etc. There's a welcoming experience. Just like Hi-Fi, you notice that yes. it draws you in because of the big open space. And you guys, you just have a very small, typical ceiling high, uh, you know, uh, ceiling high. And uh, normally we, I don't know if that's, is that the intention? No, actually before we had five, like double height to ceiling, double ceiling height to the ground for But we didn't know what we thought. <laughs> okay, uh, I think you still have time to revise because if if I understand it correctly, each floor will have different curtain characters. Yes. Uh, and for example, this particular corner is double height. Mm -hmm. Then probably th that is one big curtain okay. that sort of encloses this space. No, without this floor, imagine you cut this out. Yes. And then this will be double space, mm -hmm. no? Y just in case, no? Uh, that's just an example if this will be the lobby. Okay? So, okay. what else can you uh, say about your scheme? So, yung placement din na, no, ng mga uh, space. Kung nga, dito, design studios, magkasama dalawa. And then, classrooms. Yung next, ito, ito na, ito na. Ito yung next is classrooms. Same floor. Kaya dalawa na magkakabi kasi talaga naman sila na, ano. Mm -hmm. Don't ever forget the layout of the structure, Allah. Right? Because yes, you know it will be a totally different floor plan when when you have the structure incorporated already okay okay and we have here a uh, meeting room spot for the students like for orgs you know and then we have here we also considered already the IT department the server rooms mm -hmm. uh, and dito po yung IT department and server rooms kasi the comp lab, com computer labs are just right here so if meron man po uh, like conflicts with the system it's easy to address I'm actually curious what this wall is gonna be made of the interior walls. Same, similar to the like, ito, din Which is? Uh, concrete. Din. A concrete, okay. With fenestrations, yeah, okay. Para, like, additional light entry to the interior. So, so, ano, initially, the design namin dun sa interior walls closed, siya, like, parang cave yung interior mm -hmm. nature of the wall. Because we didn't see it, it was so we didn't see it. Okay. Uh, where's the common area, like the multifunctional? Here. Yeah. Okay. The next level. Um, we still, kaya naman siya nitinlay sa uppermost parts ng ano, program. Kasi nga, ano, parang, binis din namin siya sa study din sa, case study ng water doodat na. Parang yung mga student spaces, dapat sila yung parang pinakamaganda yung view. Mga. So with better okay. sunlight. Okay. May comment, I think generally, can we complete the entire building? May, I mean, it looks beautiful as it is, just that I think, um, you were pressured to finish this. That's why you weren't able to somehow iterate what could be, you know, a better spacing, distribution of spaces, etc., such as lobby, and it lacks the hierarchy needed no, for arrival experience. But now that I'm looking at this, especially the multifunctional area for exhibition, I can see the double height ceiling situation here, no? So, which is good. But uh, I think you can still play around a bit, but it's getting there. I'm happy about this scheme. My next question is, uh, is there a story behind the patterns? Um, we based on sa, no, sa parang lace curtains. Kasi di ba, if not yung curtains na colorful na may butterfly or flowers, meron si yung mga Filipino curtains, meron si yung parang lace lang. Yeah, but, but it sounds very general at this point. If you can uh, base, program it can be relevant uh, to be nailed 
uh, you know, look at patterns. No, anyway, nobody's saying that um, you can be very particular, specific with the pattern. Uh, but at least when it comes to the story, it's very. Uh, at least uh, you pick something that is uh, worth applying as an architectural element. All right. So uh, I think uh, another merit of uh, your design is this curvilinear windows. Um, yeah, it is more consistent. Uh, I'm happy with this scheme because I was thinking of something else and you provided uh, a different scheme which is you know, uh, owning this, this design uh, for your group. Uh, can, I just, I just want to see the, the back side. Um, di pa siya tapos dito eh. Like, ganun din yun. Like, may ganun na curves dyan. Para iba-iba yung sizes. Okay. Because I, I noticed, <coughs> although I understand that this is the back side, and oh, most often than not, this will be firewall, no? Yeah. Will oh, this firewall? be a firewall? No. Uh, this, this is elevator eh. Ah, elevator. Uh -huh. uh, now, um, because you, you see this expression happening on this side. Uh, what will happen here? Ito, ganito rin yung itsura niya. Okay. Iba-iba yung itsura niya. Kasi ano yun, sa digital, mas na-express na kami siya. Ah, okay. Pakita po ba namin? Yeah. So, the the staircase, the main staircase, is is it really like this? Yeah, parang ano, uh, salitan sila dapat. So, alternating, no? Yeah. The cover. Parang may ano, parang pag ano. Eh, okay. Nag-bumalik ka dyan iba. Okay. And this is the these are the toilets, no? Yeah, the toilets. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Plus, dito rin, sir, sa kabilang side. There's something very expressionist about it. At the same time, very logical with the with the spacing because he strategized it in such a way that all the uh, staircase and the common toilet are on one side, mm -hmm. and then all the usable areas are on the other. And so, also, no, para make sure namin na all all sides are different, talaga. Yeah. Like yeah, because if it's going to be made of all concrete and then each floor will be very different in terms of openings, it creates that very interesting texture. Uh, maybe the question is, are you going to demarcate the floor-to-floor -floor, um, connection? Because when, 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 you, when you look at the building, the entire building, it's just one profile. It's just one shape. So it's going to be made such a way that it's going to be all concrete and then you just have different uh, patterns of opening. Are you going to, for example, uh, push one floor so that it is more express or it's going to be flush or aligning? Well, ano, meron, yung mga openings para i-offset namin, yun yung plan namin na isa. But mas maganda kasi siya pag tinatest talaga sa, ano, sa digital na, like, na mas naikit, yun naikita mo na. Mm. Okay. So what, what's your plan? Is it going to be flushed or uh flushed? Because it's not just a set Ah okay. Kasi yeah, but so how how do you how do you express the demarcation between the floors? Oh okay. Because okay. the moment you finish it it will be flat. No, I'm asking you, Albong, what's your plan? Well, plan kasi namin parang ganyan pa rin siya, yung openings lang talaga yung... But uh, here kasi, the material is articulating the demarcation. Okay. But in actual, if this is going to be concrete, it will be flat. If ganyan po, like, pwedeng same yung part, yung part, yung ano dito, like, sa part na to, same yung pattern din dito, pare-pareho, yung magkakadikit. So basically, you will create lines to demarcate the floors. Ah, okay. Lines. Because the actual thing of this is going to be this concrete goes all the way here. Hmm. You don't see this line in actual. Are you going to express this line? No. 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 So it's going to be really a clean concrete all the way yes. down, and then you just have different patterns. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, see, so I'm, I'm excited to see how this is going to finish. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you, sir.